Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we are talking about a uh, transformer and we're just gonna be sizing some primary overcurrent. Uh, in this case, it's a four kVA single phase transformer. And we're gonna say this is actually an oil filled transformer. So this transformer is 750 volts or less. other than dry, right? Meaning it's not a dry type transformer. So you can check out the description below and that'll kind of cover um, the rules that I'm discussing as well as I have a whole bunch of other transformer sizing videos, different configurations. I'll list those below as well and you can kind of pick and choose what works best for you. But in this case, we're dealing with this transformer and we only have a primary overcurrent. Now this rule actually reads a little bit funny and you really wanna make sure that you're reading all of the rules. So in this case, what we do is we check out the rule. It tells us that the primary overcurrent device shall not exceed 150% the rated primary current. The problem is we keep reading and it says, hey, actually, uh, so wait, let's take some notes here. It says, you know, OC, shall not exceed 150%. Oh no. Shall not exceed 150% rated primary current. Okay. But then it goes on to say, well, wait a minute. Okay. If you are nine amps or higher, then it's 150% uh, the rated current. And you know what? If that's not available, when you go to table 13, you are permitted to go up to a next higher size. So it says if 150% the rating or 150% of the rated current is not available as an overcurrent device, the next higher, higher size shall be permitted. Then it goes on to say, if you are less than nine amps, you can actually go up to 167% of the rated current, but it says you shall not exceed 167%, which means when we go to table 13, we would actually have to go down in size. Then the very last rule or the very last little information says if you're, and even more, if you're less than two amps, it's 300%. And you know, if 300% isn't available, when you're sizing your OC, you actually go down to the next smaller size. All right, and table 13 is just, I'm just using that as a reference for pretending those are all my overcurrent devices that are available. If you go to the store and they say, hey, no, we actually have a 37.5 amp fuse. Perfect, you're good to go and you can use that if that's what your calculation works out to. This is just, I'm just pretending table 13 is the shelf at my store and that's what's available. Um, so this situation right here, we're gonna do just that. We are gonna calculate what our primary current is actually rated for. So I'm gonna go, okay, right here, what is my I primary? Well, in order to get my I primary, I'm gonna take my KVA, 4,000 VA divided by 600 volts. No root three, because we're just talking a single phase transformer. In that case, I, or in this case, I get 6.6 .6 amps. That's my rated primary current of that transformer. Awesome. So that means I'm here. I'm less than nine amps, which gives me an option. It tells me, okay, you can take your 6.6 .6 amps times it by 167%. In this case, that would give us 11.02 amps. Awesome. If I'm dealing with fuses in that size, there's probably an 11 amp fuse available. So I'm gonna take the 11 amp fuse. Um, or I'm gonna be going down to a 10 amp circuit breaker, which we know is available as well. I know not on table 13. But what is important here is I cannot go higher than 11.2 amps. 11.2 amps is my maximum, or 11.02 amps is my maximum 
rating or setting of overcurrent device. All right, so I cannot exceed that. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching. I hope that helped. Uh, I, I have a bunch more, like I said, but thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please don't forget to subscribe.